Imagine this, a world where the vastness of the ocean is not just a frontier to be explored, but a canvas for our future, where the ripple of waves above is the ceiling to our living rooms and schools of fish are the neighbors passing by our window panes. That's not a scene from a science fiction novel. It's a peek into the possibility of underwater cities, a solution for our swelling population. Today, we dive deep into the feasibility of constructing underwater cities for future population expansion and whether this vision can transition from dream to reality. Picture the Earth, a blue marble where land is increasingly at a premium. The population ticks upward, space on land becomes scarce, and we, as a species, are forced to look beyond the traditional horizons for room to grow. Now, consider the ocean. It covers approximately 71 of the Earth's surface, yet we've barely scratched the surface when it comes to occupying it. The concept of underwater cities has been floating around for years, tantalizing us with the promise of expanding our habitat to the ocean depths. But how feasible is it to construct an underwater city? Let's dive into the deep end of this idea. Technologically, we've seen incredible advancements that could support such a vision. Take the Aquarius Reef Base, for example. It's an underwater habitat that allows researchers to live subsea for weeks at a time. If we can do that, what's stopping us from taking it further? The materials for underwater construction are already being tested. Specialized concrete dubbed as Sea Crete, which gets stronger over time and salt water, is one such innovation. Structures could be built to withstand the immense pressure of the deep sea while also being eco-friendly. The very design of these underwater habitats could be inspired by the organic shapes of coral reefs, blending with the ocean environment rather than disrupting it. Now, let's address the elephant in the room. Or should I say, the whale in the ocean? Cost. Yes, the price tag of such an endeavor is, at the moment, astronomical. Building an underwater city is not like any land-based construction project. Every part of the process, from transportation of materials to the labor of workers, is magnified in complexity and risk. Economies of scale could eventually bring these costs down, but initially it would require substantial investment and perhaps international collaboration. Energy is another puzzle to solve. How do we power our underwater abode? Here's where the future is bright with potential. Tidal energy could provide a clean, renewable source of power, harnessing the natural movement of water to keep the lights on and the air breathable. And speaking of air, bioengineered algae could be a two-fold solution, producing oxygen for residents while also contributing to biofuel production. Safety and health are, of course, paramount considerations. Medical emergencies need swift responses, and underwater, that's a whole new challenge. However, with telemedicine and robotic surgery becoming more advanced, residents could be assured of timely care. Moreover, the psychological effects of living underwater would need to be understood and addressed. But if we can create a sense of community and maintain a connection with the surface world, we might just find that humans are more adaptable than we think. Life underwater could also revolutionize the way we approach food production. Imagine vertical farms nestled amidst the living quarters, using hydroponics and aquaponics to cultivate food. With the ocean at our doorstep, sustainable fishing could provide fresh seafood. The proximity to water might even inspire new cuisines and culinary traditions. And we mustn't forget about the legal and societal implications. Who governs an underwater city? Is it an extension of the nearest land-based country, or does it become its own entity with its own rules and culture? The possibilities for new societal structures are as deep as the ocean itself. Let's also consider the potential environmental impact. Underwater cities could offer a chance to live in harmony with the aquatic ecosystem rather than disrupting it. Built with ecological foresight, these habitats could become sanctuaries for marine life and residents could play a direct role in ocean conservation. Now, despite the myriad of challenges, the dream of underwater cities is not just pie in the sky thinking. There are tangible benefits we stand to gain. As land space diminishes, the ocean offers room to spread out. This could alleviate overcrowding and provide new opportunities for people to live, work, and play. It also gives us a unique opportunity to become stewards of the ocean, 
learning from it and protecting it as it becomes part of our everyday lives. The feasibility of constructing underwater cities hinges on our willingness to invest in the unknown. It requires an audacious mindset, one that looks at the challenges and sees opportunities. From the technology to the society that would inhabit these aquatic towns, every aspect of underwater living is ripe for innovation. As we surface from this exploration, ponder this. The future isn't just on land or in the stars. It's also beneath the waves waiting for us. The feasibility of constructing underwater cities for future population expansion is not just a matter of if, but when. And as we push the boundaries of possibility, we might just find that the next chapter of human expansion will be written underwater. So, what do you think? Would you pack your bags and become a pioneer of the ocean frontier? Would you be ready to call the Blue Depths home? The notion might seem leagues away, but then again, so did space travel once upon a time. And look where we are now, reaching for Mars. Underwater cities could be our next giant leap for mankind. A new voyage on the vessel of human ingenuity, sailing towards the great blue unknown. As we end our journey today, remember that it's up to us to shape the future. The ocean is more than just a body of water. It's a promise of what could be. It's time we consider every option for our growing population, and perhaps the answer lies beneath the waves. Now, go ahead, keep dreaming, keep wondering, but most importantly, keep asking questions that push us closer to those once distant shores of tomorrow.